We're taking a cautious view of the economic future, and we're advising our clients to do the same. We're bracing for some setbacks to the recovery during the second and third quarters of this year, and we're basing that on the historically high levels of employee disengagement. A healthy company will enjoy productivity increases and falling unit labor costs. But to get this, companies need, they rely upon, a fully engaged workforce. Now, unfortunately, all the surveys show that's simply not the case. Employee engagement has really suffered during this economic downturn. The falling unemployment rate has given the mainstream media good news to report, but the most critical employment data what's well, being ignored. As you can see, the Bureau of Labor and Statistics is showing that productivity, what's well, in a free fall, while unit labor costs, they're on the rise. If this were a company, our executives would be in full panic mode. But here's the problem. This data is made up of U.S.-based companies. This is what American businesses look like in aggregate. Performance bubbles form when productivity decreases and unit labor costs increase. We fear that the U.S. economy is experiencing a performance bubble of historic proportions. And so are many of the employers that make up this economy. So we're bearish on this recovery, and we believe that earnings releases this summer will prove us right. We don't advise people on their investments in the equity markets, but we do advise employers on their investments in human capital. And one thing we know for sure, you can't turn around a company or an economy with disengaged workers.